Hey guys! So today I wanted to show you how to properly fit a crossback harness on your dock. So I receive a lot of uh, questions on social media and I see a lot of people asking uh, questions in groups about whether the harness that they just received is a good fit for the dog. Uh, today I wanted to show you what is a good fit and uh, when a harness is either too big or too small. So the harnesses um, that I'm gonna use today are the ones from Naha Exports. So we've been using them for about three years now and we are really happy with the quality of their products. Uh, so that's an amazing company based uh, in Quebec. Uh, now I know that not all companies um, fit exactly the same in terms of measurements and stuff like that, but uh, now a crossback harness is a crossback harness, so they should pretty much all fit the same. So the uh, tips that I'm gonna give you today should work for pretty much every harness of this shape, so the crossback harness. So the three points that I'm going to focus on today are the base of the tail, which is right here, the ribs, and the chest bone for the neck. So the last two ribs, you should be able to feel them when you touch on your dog. So that's not something we can tell you on pictures or on video. You should be able to feel them when you touch it. Uh, the same goes for the chesty bone, again, when you touch the chest of your dog, you should feel a pointy bone. That's gonna be the pointy chest bone I'm gonna talk in this video. So when there is no tension pulling on the harness, the harness will go up on the back like that. So if you wanna make sure the harness fits, you need to pull on the harness up to the tail like this. So when you pull on the harness horizontally, like I'm doing right now, the end of the harness should end up right on top of the beginning of the tail. This way, the harness should fall on the last two ribs here. For the neck, the Y of the harness here should, top, should fall right on top of the pointy chest bone. So you should feel it underneath the harness. This is where the Y axis of the harness should fall exactly here. Now, if the harness is too small, the harness will fall before the beginning of the tail. Like here, obviously, you're missing at least this size. So you're missing a lot of it here on the end. So obviously here it's too small. The consequence would be uh, that it will come too high on the shoulders. So here it's gonna rub underneath the shoulders, uh, the, underneath the armpit of your dog, which is gonna be bothering them. For the neck, uh, it is going to be going to be too tight. Uh, obviously here I'm even having a hard time trying to fit uh, the harness on his neck, uh, but you should feel that it's going to be too tight. So the chesty bone here is way underneath. So I can feel it here, which as you can see, it should be right here, but I'm feeling it underneath here. So um, what it's going to do is that when your dog pulls, it's going to put some pressure on his throat. So your dog will have difficulty breathing and it will cough. So it will not be comfortable for your dog. So for a harness that is going to be too big, like here, you can see that it falls way after the tail. So the tip of the tail should be here and it's falling way after it. So that means that the harness will fall too high on the tights, so right here, and it will come digging into your dog's flank, like right in here when the dog pulls. Uh, so it's right after, it's even after the, the, the ribs, so it's gonna come digging into the dog's flank. Uh, so we will rub on that area, it will not be comfortable for your dog. For the neck, a harness that is too big will most likely fall under the pointy chest bone. So I can feel the pointy chest bone and the Y of the harness where it should feel just on top of it, it's actually under the pointy chest bone. So it will mean that it will put some pressure on the shoulders when the dog pulls, so you don't want that. And voila, so now you understand what is a good fit and what is not. So if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and I'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you guys later.